Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Creighton Art. Today we are going to make a scarecrow in a bucket. It is a scarecrow for your front porch and you just put them together and you can just pack them back up. So let me show you what you're going to need today so we can get started. You're going to need one of these mops I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I have some of these flowers that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Now you could use real flowers in this, but I'm just going to use some fake ones. I also have these three buckets that I picked up from Lowe's and they're just the kind that the um, trees come in and stuff. And these are a three gallon size and I'll give you those exact measurements. You're also gonna need an X-Acto blade, a couple pairs of scissors I have here. I have a piece of chalk. I have a crochet hook and I have a little tiny drill bit. I also have my drill bit or my drill gun and I have a couple checkers that I took from a checkers game from the Dollar Tree. I have some thread. We're going to use a sewing machine. I also have these pool noodles and you can get any colors. So I just have these two colors today. I have just a random piece of wood so I can drill into so I don't mess my table up. I have this, I have two hair ties, any color would work. I have a tape measure. I have some yellow paint. I have some orange yarn. I have some black corded type yarn. I have some rope that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I have some raffia stuff here that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I have this shirt that I picked up from the thrift store, and this is a little kid's size. I think that's a size eight, but you could use size four all the way up to size eight, depending on what size buckets you get. I have a little piece of jute string. I have a piece of material, and this is like a uh, burlap type material I picked up at Walmart. I think it was like $3 a yard for this, or you could find a a uh, sack, like a potato sack or something like that. Um, but I'm choosing to use a piece of material. I also have a piece of denim material and I picked up a large um, bedspread from the thrift store and I cut a piece of it out. You could use some shorts from the thrift store or cute little kids overalls, but I have a piece of material and I also have just a plain white bucket to mix some paint in. So that's all we need. So let me get situated and we can get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart this mop head here. And I wanna dye some of these. I don't wanna dye them all because I think I'm gonna mix in yellow with this tan color for the straw hair part for our scarecrow. So what we wanna do is we wanna be able to take these out of here. So I'm just gonna pull these out. So now I'm going to measure one of these buckets and tell you how big the ones I'm using are. So if I take this, it is exactly about 11 inches across. The bottom section is about nine inches across, not quite nine inches, almost. And the height is right at about 10 inches. So if you're looking for a certain bucket, that's what you need to make it exactly like mine. Now I did see some buckets at the Dollar Tree, so you would just have to see if that would work for you. Everything would work except for maybe the clothes and the head part with the burlap sack that we're gonna make for the top, okay? So the next thing you wanna do is we are going to drill holes into all of our buckets and I have this drill bit on here and it is a size three quarter of an inch paddle, blade, spade, whatever you call this drill bit. You need one of those and it should match the thickness of whatever pole you use. You can use a broom handle. I'm not sure if they're the exact same size from the Dollar Tree, but I'm using a mop handle and it matches perfectly. You want it as close as possible to the diameter of this as you can get. So then the next thing that's really important is when you drill this hole, if it's off center just a little bit, that's okay, but just make sure that they all match up. 
So when you put them together, they're not like crooked. So you want to make sure the hole is pretty close to the center. So what you need to do is drill your first one first. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the hole in here. And you just want to just take this and poke this down into this. Simple as that. And then you have your hole. So I got that pretty close to the center. And what you want to do is take your next bucket and you're going to just put it on top of this one and you will have the exact center of this one. So you want to go ahead and just put your drill bit right down inside of this one and it should match up to that one. There you have that one. So you're just going to go ahead and do that to all three of your buckets. And you want to take this, unscrew that end off, and make sure that this fits inside of all of your buckets. The next thing we want to do is we want to take this pool noodle, and you just want to put it probably about an inch or so down from the top, and draw around it with your paint marker. Or you could use um, a crayon or something that will show up on the black. So you want to go ahead and do that to one side. And then you're just going to take your X-Acto knife and you're just going to cut around that circle to cut that out. Then you're going to repeat that straight across to the other side. What you want to do is we want to take this pool noodle and stick it through his arms. So go ahead and take this and put it through here like this. Then you're going to take whatever shirt that you found at the thrift store. I found this cute little green and blue one and you're just going to dress him. You're just going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut this in just like that. And there we have our shirt part of our little scarecrow. What you want to do is go ahead and take this shirt back off. And then this will be the bottom button. And what we need to do is we need to figure out the height of this. So this will go in here and this will go on top. And it'll go right to where the pool noodle is in the middle. So we're gonna figure out how, deep, how big to make this. And the easiest way is to take it and do like this. Turn this upside down. And it's on top of your noodle inside the bucket. See that? You're going to take this bucket and you're just going to put it to the side and you don't want to cut off too much so just cut off a little at a time and you may have to keep trimming a little bit 
So just kind of eyeball that and it goes about right here. Now once I get this all made, I can give you the exact measurements, but you'd have to find the exact flower pots in order for it to work. So that's why I'm showing you how to do this. So then you're gonna take this and set this on top. And this should rest on top of the noodle. And it's a little too big, because this should just fit down like this. So let's go ahead and cut off just a little bit more. Perfect. Next thing you want to do is you turn it back over and this bucket will go on top just like this. So that'll be his head. So now we want to be able to put a little piece of noodle which is perfect with this leftover and that will go into the top. So let's go ahead and put him together. So you're going to take this pole that we unscrewed the mop head off of, and you're going to insert that through the bottom one. And then you're gonna take this, and you're gonna slip this right inside of this. And then your next one will be this one. And this will go inside this, but you're gonna to need to drill a hole through the noodle so that this hole can slip through this noodle. So go ahead and take your same drill bit that you use to put the hole in the bottom of the buckets, and you're just going to drill a hole right through this. Perfect. So now you're going to go back to the bottom bucket with the pole and the noodle, and then this is going to go on top. You're just going to insert that right through there, through the top of the bucket. just like this. Then this piece is the head and it will go right onto this part. Now we have created a scarecrow body. Now this pole on top will go all the way down. So it'll go this way. And you're going to take this little piece of pool noodle that you have left and that will set right inside of there. And then the bottom piece, this will go into the ground and I'll show you that when we're all done. So now the next thing we need to do is we are going to make him some pants or some shorts or whatever, and then we're going to make him his face. So that's where we have the other material. And we're going to take this material that I have, and this is just a piece of denim. Now you could get a pair of shorts or some kids little overalls and slide it right up on him, but I'm just going to use this material that I have and we're just gonna sew it so it looks like this. So this piece of material is 17 inches by 37 inches. So it's 17 tall by 37 this way. And we're gonna fold it inside out and you're just going to sew it from here to here. But our bucket is different so it kind of goes skinnier 
So what we want to do is we want to create that same look on that. So what you have to do is take your material, wrap it around your bucket to where they meet. So this will be the top. This will be, I'm going to make that the, um, this is going to be the bottom. I'm going to make this edge here the bottom like this. So you just want to wrap it around like this. And then what I do is I just take a piece of chalk here. Make sure it's not too tight. Just take a piece of chalk and I'm just going to mark it here and on this side. So when I go to my sew machine, I'll just match up these two sections. It does go at an angle down at the bottom. Actually, it's going to go up. So then we're going to take this part and we're going to do the same thing here with the chalk. It's going to go here and here. And then when I go take this out, and go to my sew machine. I'm going to line up these two marks here and here. And I'm going to line up these two marks on this side. Now I'm going to take my chalk and I'm going to draw a line from here to here. I'm going to go to my sew machine and I'm going to sew right there where I drew that line. Okay, so I just sewed that on my sewing machine and I just went down where I had my chalk line and back stitched at each end. And then you wanna come back to your bucket and you wanna make sure that this fits. So I'm gonna turn it back inside, right side out. And this is the bottom of the bucket. This is just an extra one I had. I know it has holes in it, but we're just gonna use it to show you. So you're just gonna take this and you're gonna slip it right up on it here. Make sure that it fits. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So then at the top, we are going to create a little edge right here because we're going to add this jute cord to the inside of this and we are going to make a little loop here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chalk again and I'm going to draw a line inside of this bucket here onto the pants and I'm just going to show where I'm going to sew a little line. I'm going to make it just a little bit higher up just in case it needs it. So I do like this and I'm just going to draw this line in here. So now you're going to take this back off 
and you're going to be left with these two lines. See that? You're going to take this piece and you're going to match up down here this line with this line. And you could just measure it too if you wanted, but we're going to do it like this. And I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew right along this line and it should match up with this line on the inside, okay? Okay, so I sewed pretty close to the chalk line and I went all the way around. So now we wanna make sure that this fits. two little holes through here with my scissors and we're going to slip that cording through here. Okay, so Go ahead and just set this aside and we're going to work on the head part now. Okay, so now we're going to take this piece of burlap that I got at Walmart and it's sold by the yard. And we're basically going to create kind of what we did for the shorts or the bottoms. And you just want to take this and measure around how big. So it's going to be about like this. And we're just going to go ahead and just sew from one end to the other. And this measures about 17 inches tall by 37 inches around. And I'm just going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew from here to here. So it will be like this. So I sewed that from here to here. Now I'm going to leave my edges kind of raw because I like that look. It makes them look like a scarecrow. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take my sewing machine and I'm just gonna sew all the way around this. I'm not gonna fold it or anything. I'm just gonna get it so in case this keeps coming undone, it will have a stitch there and it'll keep it from um, unraveling on you. So go ahead and just sew the, the top and the bottom of this, okay? Okay, so I put a little um, basting stitch in there all the way around the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna slide this over the bucket I'm going to turn it inside out. Next thing you want to do is you want to take the bottom here, and this is the end that has the solid end. And you're just going to take your darning needle, which is a large needle with a large eye, and insert some of this jute twine through there. And you're just going to find the front, and we're just going to go back and forth through this material here. And you wanna stay above the stitch. So this would be the bottom and you wanna stay above it. And you're just gonna go back and forth through here. You've threaded that right through there like this. And this will be the top. And then what you're going to do is when you put them all together, you're just going to pull this tight and tie it off like this. And it's going to gather right around the buckets. We'll get to that when we, when we put them all together. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is you need to figure out what face you want. So I just took a piece of paper and drew this out on how I want my face to look. So I'm going to go ahead and do the eyeballs, and I'm going to use these little checkers that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to drill four holes through here just like a button. to sew on these two eyeballs with some twine and a darning needle. So you just want to come up through the back, 
crisscross it, come back through the other side, and tie it off in a knot. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and stitch on the nose. So you're going to need a piece of yarn, and this is just an orange piece of yarn, and I'm just going to sew it on how this is. So I'm just going to take this and sew it back and forth and make a nose. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the mouth on. And you just want to figure out where you want to put the mouth. And you're going to leave some extra space because you're going to feed it through and tie a little knot on each end. another piece of your string here and you're just going to do the little stitches and you just want to cut off enough of this to do all the stitches so again thread your needle And you're going to tie a knot in this end. So go ahead and tie a double knot. And you're just going to feed this through here. So. So when you come through, you're going to need to go through the yarn like that. And then you're going to go back through this I come back through to make another stitch and you're going to go through the middle of the yarn
Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to take your bucket and you want to measure around the top of his head and add on a few extra inches here so we can tie it off when we're done. So go ahead and measure that and then you're going to take this yarn and you're going to put it on your table and you're going to tape down each end. So we're going to tape down about this much. Just take a piece of blue tape and tape it to your table. And then the next thing you want to do, a little bit tight here. You have your string and then you're going to just take pieces of your raffia and pieces of your yarn and you're just going to start tying it and you're going to take some of the pieces of the mop head and you can undo them and make them smaller or bigger or whatever. So take the loopy part, stick it behind your yarn and then put these two ends up through the top and you're just going to pull it like that. And you're just going to keep doing a whole bunch of these and mix and match them up. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now I got this all made. We're going to make the part that goes on the hands or the cuffs. So I just have this little hair tie and we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to make a little lark's head, put it through here and just attach it all around this hair tie. So once you get one of these made, you're going to go ahead and make the other one for the other arm. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I grabbed a couple extra strings in this raffia and we're going to make little patches because I want to put one where his shirt is, where his chest is. And then I'm going to put the other one down, tuck it in his pants so it looks like it's kind of coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these safety pins and I'm just going to just tie it around each piece. I'm just going to tie it around the safety pin.
we're going to make two of these. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little patch to these, um, this denim part on the bottom. So I'm just going to take a piece that we use to make the head part and I'm just going to sew this on here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I, that's what makes it really fun and unique. So I'm just going to sew it on with my darning needle and a piece of this jute string. I'm going to show you how to assemble him now that we got him all made. So I have this planter out front and I use this when I do my Easter egg topiary one. And what I did is I just had my husband pound a piece of PVC down inside of this plant. So there's a nice hole right here. And then your pole will fit right down inside of that. Okay. So First thing you want to do is we're going to put him together and we're going to take the bucket. We're going to take the top bucket and this is where the head goes and the head will be like this. So you want to insert a piece of pool noodle down through here and then this will go inside the top bucket. Like that. So we'll go like this. Then on this one, we need to put the arm in because the arm has a hole in there and that's where the pole's going to go in. So you want to insert the arms. Make sure the hole's going upwards. You just want to center it right in there. Then you want to take the top part, put it down through this part here. So it's going to go in between that little hole in the arms, just like that. Then you're going to put this section in. This is the piece that separates the one bucket from the other bucket. So it looks like this so far. Now you're going to put this one on and it goes on this way with the open side up. And then now we have this. Now I'm going to put him in here so I have something to help support this. Now we're going to dress him. And we're going to put his shirt on first. What we're going to do is we're going to put his shorts or his jeans on the bottom. So we're going to take this out. I'm just going to put this on, just like this. Uh, and you want to slide this rope over top of the rims of both buckets. We're going to take the little hands, the little arm things we made right here, and those will go right up around this noodle. Then 
we're going to put the head piece on. Actually, let's put one of these on and we're going to just safety pin this right into here. and I'm going to safety pin this right to this I'm just going to tuck that in and we're going to take the headpiece here and we're just going to tie this around the top I have a couple extra safety pins and I'm just going to safety pin this right to the top edge of this on each side. You can cut you some sections of this pool needle. Uh, and we're just going to stick these flowers down in this. I think I'm going to do it like this. You take your scissors. And if, you, if it's too long, you could trim some of this off. And the last thing I'm going to do is I have this little crow bird here and I'm just going to pin him on to this and I'm just going to tie him, I think, with a piece of the string. So there we have our cute scarecrow. Isn't he cute? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how we pack him all up, okay? Well, there you go. It's our packable scarecrow. Isn't that cute? I love it. So I'm going to get together and put take pictures of him outside on my porch. And I'm going to put some different clothes on him so you can see some different styles. Okay? Well, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.